tick tock, time on a walk on hip hop. Sala nigga no body show. Kakanta zamanya no kapanta chana. Lekanta patuya. I give to them the call. Then you ask to me. No, to take them. I've done a lot of interviews. No, Maram, you know. Um. Okay, now I'm about to switch to my YouTube mode, the sportscaster mode. Ah, uh, but yeah. To, to the audience who will be listening to this, ladies and G's, boys and G's, it's the Forbidden Sound of Athletics, Karabo J, with an episode of Beyond Athletics, um, a special year, final year and episode. Um, we're closing this year. I don't do the introductions on this show. The people do the introductions, but I can just give you a hint. You know, um, I'm sitting with, I think, two of the person that's right now missing, from the Pedros. Um, they are the future, man, and, and, and having a conversation with them as friends, not only as maybe track companions, but as friends, as brothers, as people who know each other very well. Um, I've, I've actually put it out there that I'm interviewing them today. Uh, gents, please do the honors by saying who you are, what you do. You, you start. You can mention your if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I must start. Yeah. Also, okay, now, nah, Peter. XXX, I love it. I'll be speaking to Lindo Wutle Goha. Yeah, I mean, that's all I can say right now. 400 meter, 400 meter specialist. Yeah. 400, 400 meter specialist. and 400 meter hurdle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, there's not much I can, people know who's Lindo Wutle Goha, so I don't think there's much I can introduce. People know. So you think everyone listens to my shit knows you? Not your shit, everyone knows <laughs> athletics in South Africa. Yeah, we, yeah, we. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> it's your boy. Okay, my full name is Sokwa Kana Zazini, but yeah. I'm well known as Socks. So I'm also not going to elaborate on whatever I did. I'm pretty sure that uh, they know. Okay, so you don't do the talking. The Baba Yega. The Boogie Man. Yeah. Uh, the Baba Yega and Lord. How do you say Lord? The other word? The Lord Buras. Uh, Lord Uris. Yeah. Lord I'm Uris. I'm struggle with that and I call it the moment at some point. Um, are you... Nah, it's two seconds, sorry. Oh, now nah, you can pause. Oh. oh, you can pause. Oh, ha. Uh, yeah. I think we are back. I'm back. Um, as, as, as you've heard, I don't know, man. I don't know why you guys don't want to give us what's on maybe the CV or what's on every website wikipedia <laughs> you know because i was i was once here i remember 20 2018 it was no? 2018, 2018. Uh, don't talk about that yet um don't talk about that yet that that <laughs> one you don't even touch that one wanted <laughs> with hurdles youth men um someone crossed with a 23 like 200 meter mark and I think no one knew what was going to happen after that. I just thought it was crazy. And at the end of the race, we heard about a world youth record. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm slow, sorry. <laughs> I'm wondering who are you talking about. Yeah. And, 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 and I think from there, the world of athletics in, in SA changed. Forgot. I think and it changed. They yeah. always knew that there's a kid coming. But on the other hand, there was... This kid, yellow bone, just boy. Uh, this is what I used to call him. You know how, how we met, dude? You know how we met? No. Um, I actually, first year, UJ, 2019. Yeah. Same class. I just saw this, this. I knew you. I, I knew you because I, I know athletics. I know mean, a, a, a lot about athletics. But actually, you looked rude, dude. Yo. Yo. Yeah. You looked rude, yeah. 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 And no problem, <laughs> Sylvester. And I couldn't understand why this guy looked this way. To like, <laughs> you look like so. Like I couldn't come to you and say, "Except didn't say I'm a one as a gen." But I think there was a time we we were in a conversation. The two of us was in a conversation. Yeah, and you look like you used to give me this 
Entra punya kaki look. getting a conversation with you and through time realize that do you remember them? I was like, I I don't remember the Yo, first time. Yo, niggas, I'm <laughs> saying it again. Yo. Nah, but the, the thing is that it's the first year. Uh, I don't know anyone, dog. So you knew some some people. Oh, I only knew Sylvester because he looked familiar. Yeah. Oh, he looked. He was familiar. He was a familiar yeah. face. So that's the. Oh, that's why. And I think also Hunsi. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise. Uh, I couldn't be like that. I can't speak to people that I don't know like that. The look, that's the thing. The way the look you give people, and I think it's 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 a, we see it a lot in this athletics community, especially in SA. I hate it so much. I hate that athletes look unapproachable or rude, uh. and it happens a lot. So hey, man, please. Let, let I mean, I'm the, I'm the opposite. Nah, I'm telling you, dog. First encounter, maybe I'm used to it be happening this way. Jen would come in the come in the country, they save our feet. But they did not have like, hey, I paid. I paid. Yo. Just trip. Yo. Oh, this, is, this is Karabo, but 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 people are different. People are different and, and, and maybe sometimes the way we grow up and the way we Nah the thing is the thing is yeah. he knows I, I have a lot of stress now. <laughs> I was thinking, you saw, you saw, you yeah. saw. Yeah, yeah, so I was thinking about that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how I got to meet you. That's how I got to you. You found out about you. Um, it continued to be, I would say, a, a, a friendship. Maybe it started somewhere or not. Not really a friendship. A friendship these days is something else. Um, I don't know. Too. Acquaintances. I think it's yeah, a friendship. I think it's safe to say. Yeah. Yeah, met the track. You know, started speaking more. I was the guy that helped this guy with his assignments and tests. Uh, <laughs> I was the guy that reminded this guy that we are writing tomorrow. Um, yeah. So actually, we're a good Jane, do you? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. If you say that, then it's okay. Okay, based on what I've that. heard now. Yeah, I'd yeah, say, I'd say. I know. I look out for 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 gents. I look out for gents, uh, especially gents around, in and around. You know, um, you should. Um, but yeah, Jens, besides that, maybe <laughs> if I were to go into who am I on this platform, I would say Mfanaka Asia 3 Sure. Where we, we've cooked maybe one sprint or two uh, to be where they are. If someone were to ask me where you guys come from, give me a background of where both of you come from, how you get to where you are. You know, summarize it. I'm not saying now tell me oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the first yeah. day of your primary school, but just a small... Yeah, in terms of yeah. athletics or the person that Anything I have. Everything. Because we, know, we might know the athletics, but we don't know what Yo, me, yeah. what I can say is, if I never moved to Pretoria, yeah. ah, I would have been something else, dog. Yeah. Because I feel like, I feel like I, I like things. I wanna, I wanna experiment. I wanna explore. Mm. So sometimes, sometimes you take the wrong decisions, sure. and then you find yourself in in the wrong surrounding. Yeah. Mm. But still, you still feel a red vibe because you grew up cookers. That's what you you used to. You used to. Uh, you get what I mean. So coming to Pretoria. Oh, let me say tags. Coming to tags. At first, at first, I do, I do want to come this side because I feel like I was comfortable in that bad environment. environment sure. I, I'm really gonna say it was really bad because we were into gangs, yeah. we were this- fighting girls, all of those nonsense. Twenty, I'd say 20, 2013, 2014, 2015. That time I was. Kasi boy, kasi smart. You see, so it was, it was, it was that. So I'd say my move to Pretoria really, really changed my life because now I have things that I would never thought I would have. Now, like most people, most athletes, uh, they know me because of my achievements now, and because of that, I took a decision to come to Pretoria. Who made the call? Who's the campus side? 
that? Of course, it was. Okay, 2015, I went to SH mm -hmm. in, in Rustenburg. That's when I won my 300 hurdles. Sure. And then that's when I started becoming. You won it? Thing. <laughs> oh, you right. remember you were in the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. Yeah. I, I, I won my 300 meter hurdles. And then, and then I came second in the 400. Sure. And then I was supposed to go to, to SA clubs now. Yeah. Ah, flops. You know Eastern Cape, flops. Right? <laughs> ah, yeah. My name was in the, I was in the, oh. I was hacked, dog. Yeah. I was hacked. Because I knew I was in form, bruh. Yeah. I was hacked. And then, and then, we got a, late December, bruh, mm -hmm. we got a call like, nah, taxes accepted you. So, in Jan, you need to come this side. Yeah. And then, at that time, I didn't know anyone this side. Yeah. I was like, Flip, what am I going to do now? Should I accept? But it's something that I wanted. That time I, I I really I was really in love with the lyrics. I was really really in love with the lyrics, and then I took the decision of coming, and I feel like that was the best decision of my life. What? What did you love? Maybe that step The wrong the wrong things. Nice like, what is it? Away. What is it? <laughs> this is the platform. What is it? Ah, dog, you know. Ah, dog. It's 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 all about hands, chasing hands, drinking at the young age. You know those type of things. So I feel like I was comfortable in that environment because. I wanted to be the same as my friends. I wanted to fit in. And that's why I did all these things. But 2015, that's when I was like, ah, I need to, I need to, I need to change. That's when I took a decision to come to Victoria. You know, you said something, I had a laugh. Because now I'm thinking to myself, maybe the walk and the running style makes sense. <laughs> 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 now it makes sense. Oh, it's, like that, yeah. it's like that, bro. Hey, um, um, director to to. You say Koha or Koha? Koha. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, I was unsure. Koha. Koha yeah. boys all yeah. white. <laughs> <laughs> director to me, oh. Can what was your question again? Oh, growing up and stuff yeah. like that. How you got to where you are? Ah, you're not to be honest. As you said, it was just boy type of environment. Not obviously not not like sensitive lifestyle, but anything that I, I needed, anything that I wanted, I got. You know, mm. this is one thing that I'm grateful for. From Matodiwa, I thought like they made sure we weren't like we weren't wealthy, but whatever I needed, never I would hustle for it, and I got it. So, ah, you know, obviously started running at a young age, you know. Next in school, Yamaburu, a white school, uh, what is it? Rasko Yakhba. Mm. So that's where we started athletics, and I've just been into that scenery. Like, obviously, there was here and there where yeah. I, was, I was a naughty kid, which is the normal thing for, 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 for a kid, sure. which was all of that, bruh. And then, obviously, I wasn't the fastest, mm. but it's something that I really like doing, you know. And then 20, when it's time for high school, which is, which is prestige, 2014. 20, yeah, 2013, going into 2014. Yeah, I got, I got to into prestige, but now it's not a full buzzer because remember, I'm not the quickest, sure. but there, there's some potential that they see. Yeah. So, which is one thing I'll always be grateful for from prestige, dog. Like they saw with the Anna, there's potential in this in Tuana, why not, you know? So, ah, I got into, I went to prestige. I wasn't, obviously, I wasn't. I wasn't the best. You must also tell them how you met me. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> ah, niggas. Ah, I was, I niggas. Remember. What didn't happen? How I met us? I mean, but I met you through Ritzy, dog. Like I knew, no. but I met you like we became friends through Ritzy. But the thing is, you remember we were going to SA schools 2016. Yeah. SA schools in Bloom. Yeah. And then you know AGM or same sure, bus sure. where tags they were yeah. prestige. prestige. And but prestige and tags, eh, they're young. They're young beef young going beef on. Yeah, yeah, going on. Sure. And then, okay, me, I knew Ritu. Mm. Ritu was my boy. And then 
I met him through Ritzi in the past. That's exactly what I said. I was like, yo, this change. After that, my boys from Tax started started distancing themselves mm-hmm. from me. <laughs> now, uh, who are they? Let's call them out. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> dog. Nah, dog. Now it's squashed. 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 So yeah, dog, prestige, mm. that whole, like me, the, the time I can say, like I've always been in the scene of athletics, but you know, I've, I don't, I think I don't even have an, an Asian title, I mean not Asian, an ASA title, yeah. till, till date, like I've never won, never. I've never won clubs. My first time winning schools was my last year in school, which was 2018. I don't know I think about it. You know, so, this, 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 been beaten on the line. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that was when I was supposed to win. Yeah. 2018, yeah, 2018. So, so in, yeah, you see, so coming into always having to prove a point, you know. So it's been a thing of I have to prove a point, I have to prove a point, and then only 2016 that's when I got a full buzzer of prestige, and then everything started unfolding properly. You know, started getting a big head here and there, realizing with that, that I'm actually, I'm actually yeah, you dope at this thing. Me. <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah, I started, yeah. So yeah, there wasn't me. I mean, uh, I can't say I had a rough childhood. And, uh, I wasn't. I'm was not like this guy. <laughs> Soft. <laughs> and how, like, how do you guys get into athletics? Uh, get to the specific story of hurdles because it's a different game. Nah. For me, we know sprinting, we know distance. Yeah, yeah. I get to really cross country. This and yeah. this. sprinting, yeah, I was quick, but hurdling. Uh, me, I've I've always done hurdles. Like I said, in Edu, I was in a uh, like a, a white orientated school. I was also in a white school, man. Yeah, but as my like, <laughs> hey, dog, can I speak? It's like now I was I was go second <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to. <laughs> yeah, dog. So I think it was. When are we allowed to do hurdles? Maybe, yo, I knew hurdles from grade 8 from high school. Ah, you, you, see you from second side, are you? <laughs> Someone send <a> him. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware of what's happening. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like from, from age 10 to, yeah. To, to age 13, it's you do all the events, you do yeah. 100, you do 200, you do hurdles. Yeah. I, I did high yeah. jump, the long jump, those Every events, day. yeah. But then when you when you go into high school, that's when you really realize, actually, I'm actually good in this. Yeah. That's how I, I, I saw myself, I like, I'm actually good in this shit. So that's when I, that's when I became, oh, I didn't even qualify for SA's 20, 2014, SA schools, dog, I didn't qualify, I was hacked. Like yo, and then and then and then that year I was like, I next year I'm going. I'm gonna show this niggas. Ah, uh, uh, nah, yo, I think you know there's no S's. Okay, the only time I didn't go to S was 2019. Otherwise, since what happened? Why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, let me tell you guys. The question was when did I start riddles? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so 2019 was I was transitioning from high school to to first year, you know. So uh, not injured. I'm given injury. An injury just doesn't come. The stuff that you do that lead to an injury, unless you you are unlucky. Yeah, yeah dog. Um, it was you know the nice life, the freedom, bruh. I have my own place, my own freedom to do what I want, you know. That's it. Yeah, they're going out all the time. Focusing on the wrong stuff, and then I still I'm still expected to train in the morning. Well, I'm still expecting my body, after to all, to still wake up and, and go train. Obviously, it's gonna give in. But okay, I want to get to that. I'm from PTA. Uh. Get to UJ. Uh. Sort of same thing. Freedom. Uh. I'm okay, but I can't compare myself to you in terms of performance. Power. Um, I've, I've never been on that high level of performance or high performance you've been at. But still, I would, I would train Monday to me. I didn't do my own of these days. I didn't need one Sunday. But really, how does it affect you? Were you going out on Fridays and Saturdays? 
I would remember first things first, we went boarding school. Oh, high school, high school, high school is boarding. We were like, uh, so it's, everything is programmed. Yeah. So now I get to UJ, I can, if I don't want to go to an 8 a.m., you know I never went to class. <laughs> so it's that thing of, uh, whenever I feel like going to training, because now also, it was a thing of battling, a uh, thing of coaching, because we didn't have a coach. So mm. as a training group, there's no that obviously they are seniors boo over king boo boo anthony but they were also our boys so, yeah. so they will be like ah, you know i'm going to training ah, i thought I, i'll come back later mm. i'll come later let's say and i and i say we'll come later so now we go maybe like five mm. when it's dark we do what we want to do later after we after from training we get dressed we go out mm. oh. same thing like it was like when i say going out it was almost an everyday thing imagine for the routine type of thing you know yeah. so we know i after training, we train maybe from from five to six. Plus, now it's only it's only two of us. I drop out. We're doing quick warm up because we wanna it's time. We wanna finish what we're doing. I do one set. I'm like, I'm not feeling grand. You know, you just feel a young nigga. I say, I'm not feeling grand. I sit down. We leave. You know that type of thing. It became a routine. It became a routine. Ah, the body. About tutoring each other. <laughs> you know, the body. The body is like ah, chief. And only when I got that injury, I realized that shit. Mm. I'm I'm slacking now, because now I'm thinking SS is coming up. I can't run Asian champs. I haven't. What made me realize? Yeah, I'm Asian. I can't run CJ champs. What made me What made me realize was varsity cup when I when I didn't go to varsity cup. I was like, ah. yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> you, know you get this wake up call. They set up a meeting at training time, and the squad sits there. They have the meeting day when. You, all of your training. Training, so yeah. you see that fuck I'm not part of that squad. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now I'm busy watching on watching on our young laptop there, mm-hmm. watching watching these guys run and thinking, oh <laughs> yeah. you know, type of thing. That's when I actually realized that ah mm. so was it a bad year for you, like the worst? Twenty nineteen. Yeah. Twenty nineteen was also twenty nineteen so. I think it's safe to say it was the best. I know what's going on with this guy. Hey, this guy had a clean year, bro. What do you mean? Bro, you, 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 uh, you came with But later, 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 later. And it was not that you know, also, year he qualified for Olympics. No, yeah, it was. But it was later. You know, not, not that I also to make an excuse, man. Mm-hmm. For 2018, December, we went to we the went mountain. We went to the mountain. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, yo. Yeah. You know. Yo. So first things first. Mm-hmm. In my head, I'm a man now, so obviously I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Now also that, ah man, you have to get that out of your system first before you can start performing properly. That's why he only started towards the end of the I season. I performing towards the end of the to. season, bro. And do you think, besides all those things, the transition of high school to university, I speak to almost every university athlete about this. Sure. It's crazy. If you lose it, you might be gone forever. That's the thing. That's true. If you can't get it back, yeah, that's true. Sure. And and literally, no one tells us about this. No I feel like I feel like I feel like what what helped me with with this is competing against senior sure. while being a junior. Sure. Yeah. I feel like that prepared me mentally. Mm. And then after high school, I was, like, I was running with these guys, so it was nothing, it was nothing hectic. You see, it was like that. But then after I go lose against your dog. Wait, yo, dog. <laughs> yeah, Robert is 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 it? Yo, dog. Yeah. Yo, dog. What are they even doing? Nice. Bro, who? Bro. I thought he's gonna pop up for the When I got to the hundred, dog, yeah. I was like, it's late for me. Yo. It's late. After uh, that, I even <laughs> took my bags. I left. I was like, I'm not going to the stand. Never. Mm. I chickened out there, I don't <laughs> lie. Is it? Because they were like, I'm a rush. I was like, I'm a rush. I was like, ah, go, my boy. I, I even yeah. called him there. I even come like, I, I can see your name. What's happening? He's like, ah. But I, I, I wasn't ready. Like, yeah. Because that was going to be my first time competing. Yeah. That day. Okay, not the. F- yeah, that was my first time competing. They mentioned opening at SAs, bro. And you, and you know. Uh, the first time with CJ Champs. I don't run CJ. I ran senior CJ Champs. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then you know you know with athletics, bruh, when when you step in, bruh, you, 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 we know you you're ready. You can't come with excuses that you weren't ready. <laughs> exactly. So, like uh, nah, I, I wasn't I wasn't ready uh, mentally as well. 
in Man C. I wasn't uh, gonna open it essays, not in <laughs> That's why I also didn't run essays. <laughs> not in the state. Essays, I was like, like I I'm uh, I was just Thanks injured now. Essay seniors. Uh, essay seniors. I was <laughs> like I'm not I'm not gonna run. Mm. I'd rather fix myself and then focus on Europe and run times in Europe. Got to Europe as well, scenes as well there. <laughs> But how, 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 how um, important is it to get your mind right? Because maybe you say something like this happens in one season and you're supposed to go to Europe. How do you get the belief back? And with you, how do you now get the belief back with training, starting from the bottom? From, from scratch. And now you have to start that work. How do you get the back mentally? Dog me, to be honest, this year I was, I was mentally... I was mentally fucked up. Mm-hmm. I was really, really. I, I, I feel like I even lost interest in athletics. I don't want to do athletics anymore mm-hmm. because of what I've went through this year. This year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, oh, why am I doing this? I don't want to do it. Even training, dog. I used to go to training just, just to be there. I didn't want to argue the next day. Why weren't you at training yesterday? I was just avoiding that that shit. Dog. Oh, you get it. Get there. I want to talk about hurdling, you know, before we get there, <laughs> I want to talk about hurdling. I believe um, it's a different mindset, you know. When I look at Karsten, um, Dos Santos, Ellison, Rai, Kevin Young, Edwards, um, the names continue, Samba, Copelo, exactly. Copelo's been doing it consistently for over so many years, maybe 10. 10 years, yeah. Um, Jackson. Yeah. The, that that so event... Of of <laughs> that, that event on its own, 400 meter hurdles. It's said to be the toughest on the track. I don't know. But it's said to be the toughest on the track. And I want to know from people who are doing this, like, what mentality does it need? Because, I mean, custom, custom is, is literally... Maybe the cover boy of this event, you know, we see through him that it needs maybe sometimes for you to slap yourself, for you to maybe look crazy, mm. for you to run fast. Mm. What is in your minds that say, hey, let's do hurdles, let's let's do this? And is it tough? Eh? <sighs> so it's a, it's a tough event. Like to be honest, it's yeah. mentally you need to be. Like uh, like uh, mentally you need to be strong because mm-hmm. now one if you if you can switch off in a race, mm-hmm. your whole late. race is, is done. You know. But I feel like I feel like when you when you when you go into the blocks, mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes even if in the warm up you're like, nah, I don't wanna run, I, I feel I feel some type of way. But mm-hmm. the moment they say on your marks, your mind automatically switches to that okay fuck I need to focus now, mm-hmm. it's time. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the mentality the, the thing is, you, and with hurdles is very different dog because yeah. you need to run at the same time you need to pace yourself perfectly at the same time you need to focus on your hurdling yeah if you knock a hurdle we gone the jumping as well the strides as well dog, yeah, you see that the train exactly. you train exactly when we speak now mm. when you tell me about your training like ah boy today i was attempting a 14 mm-hmm. or today i went 14 until it was six yeah other people won't understand that yeah you see and with me and him we understand each other like yo that's crazy dog <laughs> yeah. that's crazy dog and the training yo. how crazy is it yo. how powerful is it i paint a picture for someone who does not know what's going on yeah. bro the thing oh. is that we'll see Hurdle, 400 hurdles and 400 flat. But though the difference with the, the hurdle and the flat is that the hurdle now there's technique. Is you have to add the technical part. We, you need endurance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You need speed. Yeah? Yeah. You, need, you need a rhythm. Mm-hmm. You need, not, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be the perfect technique. Yeah. But you have to have, you, your, your technique shouldn't put you off. Like you can't exactly. jump over the hurdle. You need to be able to run over the hurdle. Because if you jump, you're losing seconds. You know? Yeah. So there's so many things that you need to implement. Like me, when I do, like now, when I, when I run hurdles, I need to dive into the hurdle. That's my biggest problem, I need to dive into the hurdle. I struggle to, yeah. Like I need to, lean. Yes, yes. my chest needs to go to my knee. My chest, my chest needs to go to my knee, you know. And I also need to run tall, because I don't know if you guys noticed, sometimes that my last 100 meter, 
I'm leaning back, you know. And imagine trying to clear a hurdle while leaning back. You won't clear. Like, it doesn't make sense. So there's so many things that you need to make sure. And the, Perfect. Other, and the other thing about us, we are short. Yeah. So we still need to focus on that. Whenever you go into a hurdle, approaching yeah. a hurdle, you need to lift yourself. Others, they just, it's normal. Those uh, tall Samba in them, and they <laughs> told those niggas. I mean, we're we like 178, 178, 177. That's pretty short. Yeah. That's 17. Yeah, 177. 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 Yeah, but yeah, I understand it's technical and it, yo, it's so it's, many factors. I mean, I've seen K flow in SA running the hurdle so many times, and sometimes he's one person I've seen who has maybe not given the best he could give because the start would be good, and maybe the last two hundred would not be so good. Um, and not only him, you know, not only him. Sorry for saying only him, <laughs> but not only <laughs> him. It's, it's, it's a lot of you. Even you guys have maybe done it. I mean, you failed this year. Ah, he knows why he felt. He knows why he felt. See, he's starting with me. See, he's starting with me. What happened? He felt me. You see, he's starting with me. He asking. Ah, you see, he's starting with me. He knows why he felt. You see, he's starting with me. It was either he, it was either he felt, or that finish line was gonna be far. Ooh. We were ah, boy. Ooh. You know, if I'm we, not gonna comment. Ah, I'm not gonna say anything. You don't comment. I'm telling you. Yeah. If it didn't fall, if it didn't fall. Uh, but, we were going to be a dog fight. But I fell. So no, no. that doesn't matter anymore. So does it count as an L or, or a W? No. No. So, so, uh, it doesn't count. No, it doesn't count. So I fell. So that's one nil. <laughs> to you. To me. <laughs> I did it clean in rain sir. Clean. Fix go. Yeah. You know why you, know why you did it. Okay, clean. Okay, no stress. Aoi, aoi, aoi. I want to get to now the career. Before we get to the personal stuff. Um, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're here for. <laughs> the career is, is, is painted with good, good paint, James. Um, you've done well, you know, and I want to highlight that. I want to give you your flowers now because we never know what might happen tomorrow. That's true. You know, I'm not saying you're going to die, but That's true. at the same time, we never know. Um, That's so true. Youth Olympian and a senior Olympian, you know. That's who I'm sitting with, and they never said that in the start. But take me, okay, you said 2018 was such a bad year, but yet you had Youth Olympics. Disqualified at the Olympics. Oh, 2017 at the Olympics. 2018. 2018. 2017 was Commonwealth. Oh, yeah. You even went to co- Youth Commonwealth yeah. Games, you know, in the Bahamas. Um, so, so that, that was the year he won. World Youth. World Youth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was the year he won World Youth. The next year, World Juniors, ne? Yeah. yeah. World Juniors. And then Youth, Youth Olympics. Um, that period as, as <coughs> youth athletes, as junior athletes, going to these international events. What are you guys learning and, and how was it? Ah, uh, with me, uh, it was 20, 2017, which was the Commonwealth, man. Yeah. I went there with an injury. Yeah. I went there with an injury. The, uh, yeah, I went there with an injury, but it was the thing of it was my hamstring. Mm. But I wasn't able to just run the first 100 meter, but once I opened up my stride, mm. the pain went away. So, the experience, ah, Joe, like, it was, it was a new experience. Like, it was yeah. the first time leaving the country, the time I, I didn't even expect it, you know? I didn't expect it. It was even the time I ran the qualifying time for the thing, it was when this guy broke the, 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 the world youth. The world youth record. You were there. Yeah. <laughs> you know something. We don't see it. There were only three of us. There were only three of us in that race, my G. Oh, flip. The only three of us in the race. So, like, it was something, like, I didn't, I personally didn't think I would have achieved something, like, you know, you, sometimes you know what you're running for, you know, every time as a, as a young athlete, you say, ah, Olympics, 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 but when it's actually unfolding in front of you, you don't realize that it's actually happening, you know. So that experience was different, but running with different people, different countries don't know now you don't know the, the score line you don't know who who's who, who's who you know sometimes in a race in south africa you can be like okay I, i'm i'm only minus focusing on people now that's uh let's be honest this yeah. is not to be honest yeah i'm not that I'm minusing people. people now you do but i know uh, who you do i know who to stick <laughs> i know who to stick to 
I know who to stick to. You know that there's that time, even on my worst day, I'm a never. I no comment. I'm just getting lazy. I'm a people. I'm a people of that. There's there's always that guy, but we're not gonna mention that guy. So yeah, um, difference. People, you don't know what's what. Yeah, you don't know what to expect, mm. my dog. And yeah, that was the experience 2017. I feel like mine 2017 was the very, very different because mm. going to the championship, I was the favorite. Yeah. yeah so I, in my mind, I, I, in my mind, I already told myself, okay, you just go there. The only thing you have to do is focus. Yeah. Because, because you've already proved yourself that you the clear favorite sure. that's what i wanted in the beginning as well i want to be the clear favorite sure. but when i got there my mind i was like yo look at jamaica mm. look at uh, these people are like yo i really need to focus sure. and then the night before i ran my final Riti and them ran they won. they they, they ran the, yeah. the away I was like, no ways. My boys, they coming back with medals and me, never. <laughs> no ways. Yeah. That's when that's when I was like, I right. from the blocks I move. Mm. And um with with you. <coughs> yeah. In, <coughs> I'm talking about Goha now. In twenty seventeen that year. Yeah. What was important? World youth or the youth commonwealth? commonwealth? <coughs> Like I like no, I I didn't. I was not aiming for any oh, of the two. Eh? Yeah. <coughs> and then when I got the the call, I was like, I mean, when I got the email, <coughs> can't you just this and this, mm. you know? Because in my head, I wasn't <coughs> like, I knew what was going on, but it was always ah, it felt like oh, essays. After mm. essay, mm-hmm. it's done, you know. After essays, it, it's clean. Mm. So I I wasn't I wasn't even sure. Like I wasn't it was it was a shock that oh, man, there's actually one in the song. There's actually this and this. Mm. But then, because I knew the, I knew about the, the world youth, but I knew I didn't get the qualifying time. Yeah. <coughs> that was a bad, that was a 51, 51, 8. <coughs> 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 don't do that, man. don't do that. I'm a blind, but it was even short, it was like... It was lower, it was, was low. yeah. yeah. So, yeah, when I realized that, oh... There's actually two teams going out and then I'm actually oh. in this team. Mm. That's when something else switched on in my head that oh now I need to refocus and focus on the Commonwealth game. Yeah. The way qualifying in SA is so hard, man. I feel like when you are on the team, you're most likely to get a medal somewhere. That's how hard it is in SA to qualify. Because the the look at the World Youth team that you can see Almost everyone could have gotten a medal. Now I feel like they, we were all on steroids there. <laughs> I, we were, we were steroids. crazy because because the first two days mm. I competed day three. Ne? I started competing I day three. Know. I think yeah. The first two days we it was heat and all rounds yeah. and all. We were we were. I'm sorry to say we were whack. <laughs> I'm sorry to say sure. this, but we were whack. <laughs> and then even the the management sure. they called a the meeting. They like what's happening? Sure. We didn't bring you guys here for this. Oh, yeah. What's happening? And then I feel like at that moment, that's when everyone started switching their mind. Like, okay, actually, now we we in Kenya now. But who was like? Well, okay. Now I feel like I feel like the perform the performance overall, mm-hmm. how we perform, like others, they making it just just. Oh. It's it's sounds like that. I remember, I remember Rose. Yeah, the just, final. just. Um, speech, it's like that. Like but speech. after that speech, Something. yo, yeah, everyone's just oh, we were all on drugs. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, we were, we were, yeah, we were really else. crazy. Yeah. Uh, comes 2018. <laughs> and good year for, for, for Koha here. Uh, a better year, not a good year, but a better year. Uh, you were happy, you were even posting and making people make you choose packs. It's XXX. Make you choose price, you say. I did us. I don't like it. I'm going to find out that you'll get disqualified. Eh, ah. <laughs> Give us the story. How did that happen to you? No, the disqualification. Yeah. A line infringement. A line infringement. So one foot. Uh, two steps. Say now, would you, with the new rules, 
I would have been, oh. been safe. I would have been middle. But it's one of those, man. Um, yeah, it was uh, going into the last 200, the, that before <coughs> that, uh, the, the fifth hurdle. Mm. I, uh, I, I, I gave two steps on the line and then I came back. Not like, no, I wasn't aware. No, no, no. I, I wasn't aware. And then I only found out, <coughs> crazy that I only found out about this disqualification when it was time for the medal presentation. Like, were they calling the names and then they're like, one, two, three. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> 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 I think something is wrong. And then, nah, they're like, nah. We went to appeal, they showed us. I don't know the cameras in that position, bro. Yes. Hey, now they pull out some big screen, they show, they zoom into the foot. Mm. And it wasn't a thing of, it's the way it's because of the way I run. Sure. My foot, before it hits the ground, it, it twists mm. twists out. So that's how I stepped on the line. Sure. And then, yeah, and as the fucked up thing is that I still had to go test after that. So I was annoyed. This thing is fucked up. Nah, that, I'm, I still got disqualified and oh. I'm, I'm stressed about the disqualification. Now I'm still going to test. Yeah. So yeah, that's what. Six subs, have you ever been disqualified? Yeah. Where? What? Morocco. Oh, African seniors. Yeah? I don't remember. For Morocco. What? Same time, uh, nah, me, I, 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 I chopped. <laughs> I was stealing me. And you knew? Nah, I dr- it's not that I knew, but I felt like, yo, I'm really behind now. Mm. And now we're approaching the last hundred. Yeah. And there were like three or four guys in front of me. I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta do something now. Sure. Well, you gotta do something. And that's when I chopped and jiggy jiggy afterwards. Can they say That's how I got disqualified in Bahamas. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So you have two DQs. Bro. No no finish at two international events. <laughs> that's that's the reality, but uh, I, wanna, <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> um no you, you You've watched me on the track and side, yeah, yeah, yeah. you, maybe you've seen how brutally honest yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a reality, but, but I feel like 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 dog in this game. If you're not real, especially yeah. in Pretoria, Pretoria, if you're not real, yeah. they're gonna kill you. They're gonna <laughs> chop your head, bruh. I wanna hear about. They're this. gonna chop your head, bruh. Yeah, yeah you mean? you gotta be real, dog. If you feel like nah. If you feel like, nah, mm-hmm. bro, this is not it. Sure. You gotta stand your ground, I'm like, I. this is not oh, it. Oh, yeah, you need to be like, maybe, yeah. talk to yourself. Yeah. yeah, don't get lost. Don't get lost. Okay. Because what happens? Can you like, elaborate, maybe give an example of what ha- had happened? What I, what I can say is, if you're not strong in Pretoria, you don't survive. Mm. You don't survive. <laughs> people, yeah, people, a lot of people just always want to fit in, bro. You don't survive sure. in Pretoria. People want to fit in and then they do stuff like like someone will say one thing to you and go say another thing to the other person just because they want to look cooler yeah yeah they want to fit in yeah. mm-hmm. what's 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 there to fit into because if you're over here for things, what's the cool thing dog you wanna you wanna hang out with the with the fast niggas mm-hmm. if i can put it that way yeah you want the fast niggas to to like you yeah i mean dog i i saw it this year bro um Twenty, yeah, twenty eight. Remember, twenty nineteen was when I had a bad season. There was no one around me. Like, ah. you know, I'd probably go, I'd go watch athletics there by what's the stadium, Germiston, mm-hmm. and people wouldn't talk to me. You know, just mind their own. And then only this year when I started running quick. Now all of a sudden, everyone is, you know, sh- trying to rub shoulders, trying to get close, which is an okay thing to do. But I mean, cool, yeah. I don't blame you if you think you have you don't have anything to speak to me about. Yeah. But then. To me, I just find that fake, dog. How do I talk to you when you look rude? <laughs> Besides that, okay, I still, I still look rude yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. But then there's still people that will approach me, come up with a conversation, you know. And I, I find that fake, dog. You know, but I don't blame them as well. It's a messed up common thing. Eh? I don't blame them as well. I, I spoke to Blasto about it, uh, and not only him, you know, people, people in, in, in this athletics community. It happens that people will not look at you when you are, for instance, let's say I'm running a 53 or 52. But just one day, <clears throat> we're and Goha, get a bad race, and I beat you guys. 
maybe now someone is starting to look at me differently. Mm-hmm. Do we treat each other equally as people, or do we treat each other as athletes based on times? I feel like it's based on your performance. Yeah. But then again, like I like I said, bro, it's, I think it's just common, like not common, yeah, common nature of, of a person. Like, if if we can put a rich guy and a poor guy, mm-hmm. who are you more likely to speak to? I'm not, I'm not saying you personally. <laughs> I'm just saying, who's more likely to get attention into the when Uh-oh. someone if we, if a, a poor guy and a rich guy both walk into a room, you can see like okay, this one is he's suited up, this one is he's wearing raggedy clothes, and they both walk into a room. Who is more likely to get the attention? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like that's what I'm saying. It's like you can't blame people for thinking like that. I just don't want people now see now they now they're in my space, mm-hmm. and then and then now I have a bad season. God forbid I have a bad season. Now people are turning their backs again. Or people are saying, ah, nah, it was just a one-time thing, mm. type of thing, you know. Yeah. How, how does it affect you then when you have a bad season? I'm, I'm, I'm now going back to maybe the mental health and stability. Mm-hmm. You know, Sox mentioned that this year was a year where he felt like, ah, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm-hmm. Now, at that time, surely no one wants <coughs> to be around you. Yo, that was me this year, dog. Yo, especially when this guy was running fast. Yo! <laughs> Yo, I felt it, dog. Crazy, I'm like, crazy, yo, crazy how bro. Things change, you know. I'm like, yo, bro. And 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 that time I was sprinting a fifty, bro. <laughs> so I used to be comfortable with sure. a fifty. I was sprinting a fifty. I'm like, what's happening with me? What was it? I feel like I feel like the people that were behind me, mm-hmm. like my team. Yeah. I feel like. There was no. Uh, don't wanna say there was no structure mm. or something like that, but I just feel like we were we were we were the we were one of the best groups because we had, we had like nine or ten national athletes. So should I say what the, the, the group? Yeah, you, you can say. Okay, but but I know if if people don't know if we're talking about Fikora. No, not Grigor. No. I was oh, uh, yeah, yeah, PG PG performance. I was with PG performance. So, so I swear they knew it. Okay. I was in uh, yeah. high school. Yeah, was I was in high school. Oh, so it's the poll. Wait. 2020. 2019. 2019. 2019. Who is training 2019? With Lucinda. Beginning of this season. This is to end. This is to pull this year. Yeah. 2020. Yeah, 2020. 2020. Oh, yeah, COVID. Yeah. And then and then we were like Nine, nine, nine national athletes. So, in that, in that, it's hard to find attention because you have people like Hendrico Prinkis, top, top national athlete, definitely a sub ten runner. Yeah, on a good day. I believe he can. He can. Next year is gonna pull up something that no one. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's the thing about Hendrico. And then, I'm saying that, but with me, I'm gonna be. Uh, me, me, yeah. me, 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 I support ah, I feel him. Like I'm not saying the same thing every year. And then we, the, we have, we had Simon. Mm-hmm. He, you know, Simon. Simon we had Tando Jojo. Jojo was something different as well. Yeah. We had Lux. Lux was something different as well. Mm-hmm. Um, who mm-hmm. else? We had Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Lindsay been an SHM for the past. We had Olympian as well. Olympian as well. Olympian, we had yeah. <coughs> we had Tabang Solo, mm. Tusky, Power Baby, Power Baby. Baby. Yeah. We had Peren Kukum. We had Peren Kukumur. Rose. We had Rose. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> but we were a lot, man. We were a lot. So I feel like it was kind of hard to to get that attention. But I, I really don't want to go deep into that. Because I feel like mm. some things are very, very personal. Yeah. So I don't want to say stuff now and then when people listen to this, mm. they twist my words and mm. I said one, two, three now. All of a sudden, yeah. I pull up at the track, people look at me differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? So, but, but I really, I really enjoyed being, being amongst those, those gents. I'm mm. not going to lie. 